Dear students, welcome to Anne's classes. Let's do percent and percentage, the multiple choice type, chapter 9. Page number 124. Choose the correct answer from the options given below. Question 1. In the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 5, the middle term, which is the middle term? 2. The middle term as a percentage of the whole is which of these? So the middle term here is 2 and they want to know the percentage of the middle term to the whole. So first let's write down the given ratio. The given ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 5. Now the whole will be sum of the ratio. That means we need to add up 1 plus 2 plus 5 and that is equal to 8. So we have the sum of the whole ratio. Now the middle term as a percent of the whole. So the middle term is 2 as a percent of the whole means 2 by 8 and to find the percentage we multiply by 100%. Now we just have to simplify by cancelling. Two ones are two, two fours are eight. I can cancel four and hundred. Four ones are four and four into twenty-five is hundred. Now we just have to multiply one into twenty-five is twenty-five and put the percentage sign. So we've got our answer. The middle term as a percent of the whole is twenty-five percent and that is option three, twenty-five percent. Question two. 10% of 10 plus 20% of 20 minus 30% of 30. What is that equal to? So let's solve that. So first we have 10% of 10. Let's write that down. 10% of 10 plus 20% of 20. 20% of 20 minus 30% of 30. So this is what we have. Now, 10% of 10 means 10 by 100, that is 10%, of is into, into 10, so this is one part, so we'll put that in brackets, plus here we have 20% of 20, that is 20 by 100, of is into, into 20, so this is the second part, minus 30% is 30 by 100, of 30 is into 30. This is the third part. So let's simplify each uh, part that we have in brackets. So here let's cancel. I can cancel 1 0 here and 1 0 here, 1 here and 1 here. Now what do we have? 1 into 1 is simply 1 plus. Let's go to the next part. Cancel the 0. Cancel one more 0. Now multiply 2 into 2. 2 twos are 4. Plus go to the next part. Here we have 0 and 0 cancelled, this 0 and this 0 cancelled. Now we have 3 into 3. 3 threes are 9, that's minus not plus. So that's minus 9. So here we have 1 plus 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. So 5 minus 9, so that is 5 minus 9. 5 minus 9 is minus 4. Then the signs are different. The signs are different here. Put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 9 minus 5 is 4. So answer is minus 4. Now if you look at the options, we don't have minus 4 anywhere. First option is 0, second is 9, third is minus 5, fourth is none of these. So our answer is the fourth one, fourth option, none of these. This is our answer. Question 3. An article costing 60 rupees one year ago now costs 40 rupees. That means initially it was 60, now it has come down. So there is a percent, a cost decrease. Now we have to find the percentage change. Percentage change means is there an increase or decrease in the price and find the percentage of that. That's the meaning of percentage change. So let's begin by writing our statements. The original cost of the article is 60 rupees. So 60 rupees, now the price has come down to 40. So that means there is a decrease. So what is the decrease in cost? It will be 60 rupees minus 40 rupees. So this will tell us the decrease in cost. 60 minus 40 is 20. So 20 rupees is the decrease in cost. Now to find the percentage decrease, we should say decrease in cost by the original cost into 100. So decrease in cost is 20 rupees. The original cost is 60 rupees. And then we multiply this by 100%. So let's multiply 
and cancel here cancel this now i can cancel this two ones are two two threes are six and here we have nothing more to be cancelled so it is 100 by 3 percentage now we have to simplify this divide 100 by 3 so 3 threes are 9 minus again 10 3 threes are 9 minus 1 so here what do we have we have 33 1 by 3 and this is percentage and this is percentage decrease so what is our answer here 33 1 by 3 percent decrease and that is option 2 33 1 by 3 percent decrease question 4 a is 80 percent of b then what is B? B is what percent of A is the question here. And the answers are given here. So A is 80% of B. So let's consider B to be 100. Then in that case, what will A be? A is 80% of B, isn't it? It's given to us in the question. So this will be 80 by 100 of means into, and we said B, let B be 100. We have set here, isn't it? Let B be equal to 100. So in the place of B, I put 100. Now we can cancel these two. So when we cancel these two, what is left is only 80. That means A is equal to 80. So we've got A is equal to 80. Now the question is, B is what percent of A? So to find B, what percent of A it is? What is B? We said B is 100 by a b by a and a is 80 and percentage we multiply by 100 percent now let's cancel what we can i can cancel this and this now i can cancel 10 and 8 by 2 so 2 fives are 10 2 fours are 8 now i can cancel 4 and 100 4 into 25 is 100 4 ones are 4 so now i can multiply my numerators 5 into 25 is 125. In the denominator, I have 1. So, B is equal to 125% of A. So, we've got our answer here. B is 125% of A and that is option 3. So, let's mark that. So, this is option 3, which is the answer. 125% of A. Question 5. 15% of a number is 30. Then 20% of the same number is how much? So what's given to us? 15% of a number is 30. So we don't know what this number is. So let's consider that number to be x. So let's solve this. 15% of x is 30. So let's write that. 15% of x is equal to 30. So now we can find x. Okay. So this will be equal to 15% means 15 by 100 of is into x is equal to 30. Now we can find the value of x. On the right hand side we leave 30 as it is. Now here we have 15 by 100. We are going to take it to the other side and because it is multiplication here then it goes to the other side it becomes division. So let's write division 15 by 100. Now we are going to solve this. So, how much is x? x is equal to, now this becomes division of fractions when we give this the denominator 1. And we know how to do division of fractions, isn't it? 30 by 1, division changes to multiplication and we write the reciprocal 100 by 15. Now, let's cancel. 15 into 2 is 30. Now, multiply 2 into 100 is 200. So, we have found the value of x to be 200. And what is x? We said let the number be x. So the number is 200. Now let's go back to the question. Here it says 20% of the same number. So what is 20% of 200? So let's do that. 20% of 200 is what we need to find out. So that is equal to 20 by 100 of us into 200. Now cancel. I can cancel this 100 ones are 100 and 100 into 2 is 200. Now multiply these two. 20 into 2 is 40. 40 by 1 which is equal to 40. So we've got our answer. Our answer is 40 and that is option 2. Option 2, 40. 
Question 6. Rachna has to score 30% marks to pass an exam. She scored 140 marks and failed by 10 marks. So what are the maximum marks? Okay, so we have to find the maximum marks. So let's see. Let the maximum marks be x. We don't know what it is. So let's consider that to be x. Now, marks that Rachna got. How much did she get? She got 140 marks. So she has got 140 and what is the past percent? The past percent is given here as 30 marks, 30 percent, 30 percent marks to pass an exam. So past percent is 30 percent. Now what are the passing marks? Now let's read this carefully. She scored 140 marks and she failed by 10 marks. So what is the passing mark? 140 plus 10. 150 is the passing mark but she scored only 140 and she failed by 10 marks. So what is the passing mark? 140 plus 10 which is 150 marks. So now the pass percent means 30 percent of the maximum marks. That will give us the passing marks. So 30 percent of the maximum marks which is x is equal to 150. Okay, I hope you understood this. 30 percent is the pass percent and the passing marks is 150. So 30% of the maximum marks is 150. So now we can find the maximum marks by solving this. So this is equal to 30% means 30 by 100 into x is equal to 150. So now we can find the value of x. x is equal to 150. Now we are going to take this 30 by 100 to the other side. So when we take this whole 30 by 100 to the other side, since it is multiplication, when it goes to the other side, it will become division. So here let's write divided by 30 by 100. So now this becomes division of fractions and we know how to divide fractions. So let's find the value of x. x is equal to 150 by 1. Division changes to multiplication and we write the reciprocal. 100 by 30. So now let's cancel what we can. I can cancel 10 here and 10. Then 3 5s are 50. Now I have to multiply 5 into 100. 5 into 100 is 500 and down I have 1. So now I have found the value of x. x is equal to 500. And what is x? x is the maximum marks. So we have found the maximum marks and that is 500 option so this is our answer. Question seven. In a coaching institute, 40% are boys and 180 are girls. The total strength of the institute is which of these answers? That means boys and girls together. What is the strength? So here let's write. Let the total strength be equal to x. So we don't know the total strength. We're going to consider that to be x. The percentage of boys is given to us in the question 40%. So let's write that 40% are boys. Then the percentage of girls will be 100 minus 40, isn't it? 100% minus 40% and that will give us the percentage of girls which is 60%. So now we know the percentage of girls and we also know the number of girls. That's also given to us in the question 180 students are 180 of them are girls. So here number of girls is 180 and we know the percentage of girls 60. 60% 60 of the total strength is 180. So now we can say 60% of the total strength which is x is equal to 180. Now we can find the value of x by solving this. 60% means 60 by 100 into x is equal to 180. Now this is equal to, now if we take only x on the other side, we can say 180 and we're going to transpose this 60 by 100 to the other side. So when it goes to the other side, it becomes division. So that is divided by 60 by 100. So now we can find the value of x. x is equal to 180 division changes to multiplication and we write the reciprocal 100 by 60. Now we can cancel this. 
we can cancel 6 and 18. 6 threes are 18 and multiply 3 into 100. So now we know the value of x. 3 into 100 is 300. So And what is x? We said let the total strength be equal to x. So x is the total strength and that is 300. So let that is option 3. 300. This is our answer. We will stop with that for now, children. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you, children.